as you can see, very sweet and quiet. Lovely noise from the machine. joining the other stuff from the floor. It's lovely and quiet. Take the boom over. This machine took a lot of work. It was severely seized. Um, I broke the zigzag lever mechanism inside, so I had to get in there with a drill and repair it. But it certainly works now. And then I had to re put it. I had to put it all back together again, which of course taxed all of my precision to retime the whole machine, everything. However, I've got it to a state where this can now be used with the television running, and you can't hear it, which is kind of the importance of this. So this is almost as good as a Bunova. It certainly is as far as sewing and everything else. I just prefer the mechanism of the Blue Nova slightly. They did have to change a few things on this. Um, a few mechanisms inside, but it looks much the same. The big difference is with the, where the zigzag and the needle position levers connect. So if you saw my video on how to adjust <coughs> the levers the pressure on them that doesn't work on this machine it's quite a different construction you have to get down inside and un undo a whole bunch of stuff to get out however once it's adjusted and oiled you should never have to do that again so you can hear it's lovely and quiet that wonderful wonderful necky sound i'm very pleased it's a bit exciting because, as well, I've got off of black machines here. I've got a pink one. Um, not that pink is my favorite color, but it's fun. I'm more interested in what goes on inside the machine. And I'm quite pleased with this. So you can hear that we're having a lovely time thread painting here. The mechanism is good and quiet. We can go really got all the control I need. My feet in the right place. So the action on this machine is just not quite as light as the Bunova. But of course that's just me being pedantic and knowing my machines. It really doesn't make any difference to the user. So I could actually recommend this machine if it's serviced perfectly and maintained perfectly. I think this is definitely another successful machine to uh, add to people's collections. So here, even at you know, really high speed, it's good and quiet. What we might have a bit of fun is I can show you the cams on here in a later video. I thought I would show you the success I've had with this. And uh, if any of you, there's one on eBay at the moment. In fact, there's a few of these on eBay at the moment, which you may be interested in. I don't actually need another machine now, which is... I thought I might have to get another one to part it out to come up with one function machine. However, I successfully managed to get this one to work. And so it's now as you can see, sewing flawlessly. I'm not mix, missing any stitches, not dropping anything. Doing perfect thread painting. So I'm very, very happy with this machine. I've got to finish my project, of course. But that's going to take a lot more hours than you want to watch on this video, I can assure you. I shall pause the video now.
And see there's the thread painting there. And this is already done. And that's how I've got the thread spools on to make sure they work.